So I'm just taking a few notes now. Um, obviously off the whispering test, there's definitely obviously issues with your hearing, okay? So what I'm gonna do for you today, I'm gonna do a hearing aid fitting, okay, with an ear mold. And uh, it's, it's nothing major to be if afraid of. Um, I'm just going to get an ear mould in a minute, okay? I'm going to place it inside your ear canal and get it fitting in your ear so it's comfortable for you to wear. And then I'm going to run a few series of hearing tests on you, okay? Just so I can adjust the settings of your hearing aid, which is correct and right for you, okay? Um, obviously the issues with your hearing are affecting your day-to-day -day life, okay? I'm just writing down some notes. So yes, I'll go get an ear mold and then we can start the tests. The tests, um, it will be a beep and tone test, okay? Where I'll put some headphones on, okay? Once the ear aids in and then you just raise your hand as and when you hear a beep. And the second test will be some whispering, where you'll just, like before, repeat the words back to me, okay? And this just allows me to alter um, the hearing aid for you, okay? So you can hear everything. So I think we can uh, begin straight away, so. I've just got the ear mould here. Just take it out the wrap. So I'm just going to come round the side of you now, okay, just try and get this in your ear nice and comfortable, okay? okay. okay. I will try to go as gently as possible. Place these headphones on you, okay? And then I'm going to turn on the machine. And as I say, every time you hear a beep, then if you just raise your hand when you hear one, I'll be adjusting your hearing aid um, where I see fit, okay? Taking some notes, etc. So you're nice and comfortable. Okay, great. Let's put these on you then. There. Comfortable. Brilliant. Okay, so I'm going to turn the machine on now.
down have I uh, adjusted your hearing aid okay so now um, your hearing aid is to my satisfaction um, the last test I'm going to do is the whisper test okay just to see if the hearing aid needs any more adjustment And then I can uh, fit it for you correctly. And so you can go on your merry way. <laughs> um, I just will let you know as well. When people start first wearing the hearing aids, they will experience a couple of effects. One is their own voice will sound very hollow due to the device being in the ear canal. And the second one is um, very tinny sounds, environmental sounds, high-pitched sounds will sound very tinny. And the reason it's going to feel very tinny at first is because it would be very high-pitched, it actually bring, brings clarity on your speech, okay? And I know from your issues here that you've had trouble listening or speaking with people or hearing people in conversation, isn't it? as I say, these effects, once the brain adjusts, these effects will um, taper off. So it's not permanent, don't worry. Okay. And yes, so what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to do the whisper test, okay? Um, I will do both sides, just so I know what kind of balance you've got, okay, with the hearing aids and obviously your good ear. Alright, and I'll just be adjusting the hearing aid where I think. So I'm going to come a little bit close to you and I'm going to go round each side, okay? You just stay nice and still.
you were hearing everything at the end. So I am very satisfied that the settings on your hearing aid are correct and will drastically improve your day-to-day -day life. Now, all I need to do is just fiddle around a little bit, okay? Just to make sure that your hearing aid is comfortable to wear every day and just make, it, make sure it's fitted correctly because if a hearing aid is poorly fitted, it can actually thwart the progress, okay? So, let's get that done for you. Of writing your notes, and then I think that's was pretty much done. Now, what will happen next is you'll come back to what's called a fitting window, okay? And you'll be coming back in around 40 to 60 days. We'll send a letter to you in the post, and I would like you to come back and be tested again, okay? just to make sure the settings are still in place, make sure uh, maybe your hearing's improved or, you know, not improved, and then we can see where we go from there. But as I say, I'll send a letter out to you in the post, okay? There, that's all your notes. Now, what I'm gonna do for you now, I'm gonna lead you down the corridor to the reception, okay? And I'm gonna get um, some literature for you to read. And the literature is about all the settings on your hearing aid. Um, it's very good to know all this anyway, even though obviously I'll be fit and eat the next time you come. Um, it just basically shows you how the hearing aid works in case you need to know. It will also, there will also a pamphlet for how to clean and to keep your hearing aid clean. I'm also going to give you a stock of, of, of batteries, okay, for your hearing aids, so you'll have plenty of batteries to go in with. And I think that's it, and there will be a leaflet as well of maintenance regarding your hearing aid, in case it breaks or gets dropped, water damage, okay, and then we can sort that out for you. So is there any questions that you'd like to ask? Okay, well, as I said, I think we're pretty much done here. So if you'd like to follow me down the corridor, and I'll go get all your leaflets and information. Okay, let's go.